loneliness. It's often called the silent epidemic of our time. Millions of people across the world report feeling more disconnected than ever, even in an age of constant online connection. But what if technology could step in to fill that emotional gap? Not just with dating apps or chatbots on your phone, but with something or someone you could actually see, hear, and touch. Enter the rise of the robot girlfriend. Once the stuff of science fiction movies, humanoid companions are now stepping out of the lab and into real life. They talk, they listen, they remember your favorite stories. Some can even read your mood and respond with empathy. Companies in the US, China, and Japan are racing to design the most advanced AI companions, complete with lifelike faces, emotional intelligence, and even the ability to connect with your smartphone. The price tag? Sometimes over $100,000. The promise? A future where no one has to feel alone again. So, the question we're asking today is simple but profound. Are robot girlfriends really the future of love? Or just a high-tech illusion of intimacy? Today, the idea of a robot girlfriend might sound like something straight out of a futuristic movie. But make no mistake, the industry is already real and it's growing fast. At CES 2025, a company called Realbotics unveiled humanoid companions named Melody and Aria. These aren't just plastic shells with pre-recorded voices. They can carry on conversations, remember details about your life, and even adjust their personality to match your mood. Meanwhile, in China, startups are releasing more affordable models like Nian, which can sing, dance, and provide companionship for a fraction of the price. These designs may not be as realistic as their Western counterparts, but they're proof that the technology is scaling rapidly. Analysts estimate the global companion robot market was worth over $1.2 billion in 2024, and by 2030, it could triple in value. Driven by advances in AI, robotics, and rising demand for emotional support technologies, what was once science fiction is now a legitimate sector of the economy. From labs to living rooms, robots are quietly redefining what companionship looks like. And the question isn't if the market will expand, it's how fast. So what exactly can these so-called robot girlfriends do right now? The answer might surprise you. Most modern models are powered by artificial intelligence chat systems. That means they can hold natural conversations, tell jokes, or ask how your day was, just like a friend would. Some robots are equipped with facial recognition. They remember who you are, recognize your expressions, and respond differently if you're smiling, frowning, or looking stressed. High-end versions feature expressive faces and eyes, with motors that mimic human gestures blinking, nodding, even showing a gentle smile. Others are built with body language sensors, capable of leaning closer when you speak softly or giving more personal space when you seem distant. And it doesn't stop there. Some can connect to your smart home devices, adjusting your lights, music, or thermostat to match the mood. Imagine coming home after a long day, and your companion robot greets you, dims the lights, and puts on your favorite playlist. Of course, the technology isn't perfect. Movements can still feel mechanical and conversations sometimes glitch. But compared to even five years ago, today's robots feel shockingly advanced. The future? It's already knocking. If today's robots can already talk, listen, and adapt, what comes next? The answer lies in innovation. Experts predict that within the next 5 to 10 years, companion robots will have deeper emotional intelligence. They won't just recognize a smile or a frown, they'll pick up on subtle tones in your voice, even biometric signals like stress or fatigue. Facial expressions and body movements will become more natural. Instead of stiff motions, robots may one day move with fluidity almost indistinguishable from humans. We'll also see hybrid companions part physical robot, part digital avatar. Imagine a lifelike figure in your living room, paired with a virtual version accessible on your phone or in VR. Another big shift will be modularity. Instead of buying a whole new robot, you could upgrade the brains with a better AI chip, or swap out the face for more expressive features. 
and price? It's expected to drop dramatically. What costs over 100,000 today could fall to just a few thousand as manufacturing scales up. In short, robot companions aren't standing still. They're evolving and fast. But for every breakthrough, there's a shadow. The rise of robot girlfriends isn't just about innovation. It's also about controversy. First, there's a price barrier. High-end humanoid companions cost as much as a luxury car. That makes them accessible only to a tiny fraction of people, at least for now. Second, there's the question of authenticity. Can a robot truly provide love, or is it only an illusion of intimacy? Some critics argue that relying on artificial partners could deepen isolation instead of solving it. Then comes privacy. These machines learn your habits, your emotions, even your secrets. What happens if that sensitive data is hacked, sold, or misused? There's also an ethical debate. As robots become more human-like, where do we draw the line? Should they have rights? Should there be limits on how they're designed, marketed, or used? And finally, the social impact. If people turn to machines for companionship, what does that mean for human relationships, dating, and family life? The technology is advancing quickly, but society is still grappling with the hard questions it raises. So where could all this lead? The future of robot girlfriends isn't set in stone. It depends on how technology evolves and how we choose to use it. In the optimistic scenario, companion robots become affordable and widely available. They help millions fight loneliness, support elderly people living alone, and provide comfort for those struggling with anxiety or depression. They don't replace human love, they supplement it, offering a bridge in times of need. In a cautious scenario, things get more complicated. Robots become common, but over-dependence starts to show. Some people withdraw from real relationships, preferring the safety and control of artificial partners. Society debates whether this is harmless or harmful. And in the wild future, the line between human and machine blurs completely. With advances in AI and robotics, companions may become so realistic, emotionally and physically, that some people genuinely can't tell the difference. In that world, the meaning of love itself could be redefined. Whether hopeful or unsettling, one thing is clear. Robot girlfriends aren't just a fantasy anymore. They're part of the future we're heading toward. So, after all this, where does it leave us? Are robot girlfriends truly the future of love or just a shiny distraction? On one hand, technology is moving at lightning speed. Robots today can already talk, listen, and adapt in ways that were unthinkable just a decade ago. And with prices expected to fall, millions more people could soon have access to these companions. On the other hand, the biggest questions aren't about hardware or software. They're about us. What do we really want from relationships? Is love defined by biology or by connection? Even if that connection comes from code and circuits. For some, robot companions might be lifesavers, easing loneliness, offering comfort, or simply being there when no one else is. For others, the idea feels unsettling, even dangerous. Could relying on machines for intimacy change how we see one another? Could it reshape what it means to be human? The truth is, we're only at the beginning of this story. The future of love may look very different than the past. So, I'll leave you with one final question. If you had a chance, would you fall in love with a robot? <laughs>